This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by PortCityCoin.com I always like to say that if you're over 40, well actually I wish I didn't have to say it, but it's uh, a a good way to to look at the way things are. Uh, Anyone, pretty much anyone over 40, if you're over 40, the government has already killed you. Now, you may not have actually experienced the death part yet, but they've already taken the actions to make sure that it happens prematurely. By making medicine a government-controlled thing, mostly, they've eliminated much of the innovation that otherwise would have happened and which would have saved your life when you have your heart attack at 60, that sort of thing. Or they've restricted restricted science in various ways which would tend to stop science from creating the breakthroughs that let people live to be 150 or 200. It's hard to see what's not there, or that which is going to happen to you, or fail to happen to you in 20 years. But as I go through this uh, list of free staters who have died, and New Hampshire Liberty activists who have died, I do tend to think of many of them as people who would still be with us if the authorities weren't crushing the medical industry. Ultimately, some would have survived, some wouldn't. Who knows whether Craig Haney would still be with us. He died, I believe, of some sort of aneurysm around late 2016. Again, if I recall correctly. It seems like he had just been on vacation in Ireland, or maybe he was there when it happened. I'm not sure which. I didn't have that many interactions with him, but he did once give me a ride to the State House. And I'm pretty sure he was at this infamous event where a bunch of New Hampshire Liberty folk were arrested sitting outside the Manchester Police Building. He testified at Manchester City Hall during a hearing uh, about his concerns about this event. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that means he was there. Hi, Joe. I have almost no idea what killed Joe Rowe, but it also happened around 2016. How are you? I got a hot water tank. Really? Whether it heats water or not, I'm not sure, but I have the tank. It's the tank. Whereas uh, Craig was a free stater who, who moved here, I believe, Joe was a person who'd been here a long time and just liked the fact that we were here and kind of hooked up with us. They used to say uh, Joe was uh, someone who would fight the government when you were supposed to not fight it, and he would not fight it when you were supposed to fight it. But at least he fought it. I had a conversation with him uh, maybe two, three weeks before he died over the phone. He seemed so happy he was uh, acting as a truck driver. He has spent quite a bit of his time in jail uh, for various uh, victimless things. But he is just one of those folks that didn't really know exactly how to stay out of jail. But I'll miss him. Rare coins. Pawns. Gold and silver bullion. Check out Port City Coin in Portsmouth, New Hampshire for your precious metal needs. A plus rated with the Better Business Bureau. Happy to do a cash transaction. Why buy your metals from one of those slave state mints when you can support the free state economy? Visit PortCityCoin.com, or as I like to call it, PortCityCoin.com.